Today, over land and sea, don't let winter stop you. Cozy up to a camel, find a fish fry, and see how Grand Lake's secret fishing spots are secret no more. Travel with AAA's Discover Oklahoma. Hi and welcome to Triple A's Discover Oklahoma. I'm Jennifer Reynolds. And I'm Dino Lawley. We're coming to you this week from the Catfish Roundup in Seminole. And as you can see from behind me here, catfish aren't much to look at, but they sure do taste good. I know you like them. I love catfish, and you know what? They like me. I'm just not very good at catching them. That's the problem. Well, as you'll see in this show, there's no worse fisherman than yours truly. <laughs> but for now, we're in good shape because we just have to order the fish here. We don't have to catch them. It is uh, nice to enjoy the fruit of someone else's labor, exactly. isn't it? Exactly, it and is. And speaking of which, our first destination boasts that their hired hands are their main attraction. Ralph and Winona Paso have lived their whole lives amidst the rolling acres of Noble County, farming and ranching and raising a family. But it wasn't until the late 90s that the Pasos really began to create their own Camelot. When the fam and I decided to swing by Paso's Camel Farm in Perry, we'd expected to see camels, you know, two or three of them behind a fence, not the two or three pastures full of gawky, furry, affectionate giants. Like most visitors here, our first question was, why? That's the way it is, goofy people do goofy things. <laughs> bit by bit, the story behind this camel's spectacle began to emerge, peppered with Ralph's own brand of wisdom. Well, I learned a long time ago that if you ever do anything, you don't get in a line. And if you get in a line, you're not going to be first. The story goes that Ralph developed an allergy to the herbicides he was using for weed control on the ranch. He did some research and found that camels will eat briars and thistle and other weeds. We bought three. It's kind of a little test project. We turned out that we really like them because they're just so gentle and so nice to be around. They'll also eat hats made out of hemp, we found out. But who could be mad? One blink of those long, dreamy eyelashes and we were in love. Before long, folks in other states and other countries wanted their own camels, so the Pasos started selling the babies. This lanky little guy was born just the day before our visit. I guess probably the most fun is uh, when we get to sell some. Most of the people that buy them just really don't realize how nice they are. We learned a lot from Ralph and Winona that there are two types of camels. A two-humped one known as a Bactrian camel. Those are the grumpy ones that spit. You won't find any of those around here. These guys are dromedary camels with one hump and they're much kinder and gentler. They're from Arabia, well, and from Perry, Oklahoma. We haven't never had one spit, and we've been around several hundred. Their hump is a large lump of fat that provides energy if food is hard to find. They'd get too hot if that fat were distributed all over their bodies, like other critters. And with the drought cycle we've been experiencing in this part of the country, desert animals make perfect sense. It's just amazing. It, it makes you feel kind of proud, thinks you're smarter than most people. Paso's camels have completed many a manger scene at living nativities all over the place, and most recently, camel milk has been getting attention as a potential help for folks with diabetes, Alzheimer's, even autism. Miniature donkeys and llamas also roam the 1,200 acres, adding even more magic to the place, and that's on purpose. What I want you to be able to remember, it was the coolest place you ever been. It's been a good adventure for us. Turns out it was a great adventure for us too. At Paso's Camel Farm in Perry, I'm Shell Wagner. To plan your riding to Paso's Camel Farm, all you have to do is go to the Discover Oklahoma page at travelok.com. I don't know about you, but you just don't expect to see camels when you're driving <laughs> down the back roads of Not Oklahoma. So I bet people just stop and stare all the time. Take pictures and they have that look that you get when you're here at Catfish Roundup and they bring out your plate of food. Yeah, I tell you one thing, the catfish is great. I love the fried okra, the hot rolls. And you start it all off with a piping hot homemade apple fritter. 
The Catfish Roundup restaurant sits on busy Highway 99, halfway between Seminole and Prague, and just off I-40, halfway between New York and California. It's a popular place for lunch and dinner, and the first thing you see when you walk in the door is the 750-gallon aquarium. The walls are adorned with mounted fish of all kinds, which is only fitting because the most popular thing on the menu is catfish. We started uh, a little over 20 years ago, and uh, we just had a catfish night one night, and we just bought a couple cases, and then we upped it to four cases, and by seven o'clock we'd already sold out. So we already realized, hey, we're onto something here. So we uh, was able to come up with a good recipe, a Cajun-style recipe, and uh, currently now we're selling roughly around 2,000 pounds a week. That's right, a ton of catfish a week, seasoned with Rhonda Kinslow's secret blend of herbs and spices. Yes, it's a very different taste. It's a secret recipe and I make it. <laughs> so you're not gonna tell us what it is? Um, no. <laughs> they also serve truckloads of hot rolls, fields of corn and okra, and as we mentioned, those great homemade apple fritters. In fact, the fritter girl will wear you out refilling your plate from the never-ending fritter basket. For dessert, if you still have room, there are homemade fried pies. The Kinslow family knows food. They were in on the beginning of the Sonic chain and still own 29 drive-ins. But this is Eat In. Catfish is king, but they also serve a mean chicken fried steak and some ribs that'll make you weak. Larry Kinslow says they have regular customers from as far away as Oklahoma City and Tulsa and even some coast-to-coast -coast fans. Quite often they'll be traveling from California to New York or whatever and um, they'll come back in a year from now and they say we was here we remember where this is at and, and uh, we had to stop here. So. And that's understandable. This is food you'll come back for. For more information on the Catfish Roundup, just head over to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Well, don't go anywhere. We have a story coming up just a bit later about an Oklahoma hotel that has been decorated with diamonds. But up next, it's the Super Bowl of Bass Tournaments, and the host city is Grove. Step into the thick of that city's preparations and meet an Oklahoma angler whose boat is his office when AAA's Discover Oklahoma continues. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and found out they could save us money too, and so we ended up switching. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600. Any money you can save during the month and have some left over, um, that's, a, that's a pretty big deal. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Want to get away? Oklahoma road trips are fuel for the soul. To get your motor running, visit TravelOK.com for brochures, inspiration, and loads of savings. A few clicks will put you on the open road to adventure. At TravelOK.com slash road trips, it's easy to find a getaway that moves you. We've reinvented the road trip. Come along for the ride. Approximately a year and a half ago, my friend Gary Wise, who I go to church with, had uh, become a AAA agency. And he had asked me, he said, let's just check, see what we can do. We tried to compare apples to apples to his current coverage. And uh, my premium went down $800 for the same insurance for this house. I was tickled. I mean, $800 is a lot of money. Go see Gary. Get your AAA insurance. It's, it's head and shoulders above the rest of the companies. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma, working to keep the spirit of outdoor adventure going, even though the temperatures have dropped a bit. So we're going to spend some time now with some intrepid sportsmen who don't let anything stop them. <laughs> Fishing pros. That's right. We're going to spend some time with them. Now with the Bass Masters Classic happening on Grand Lake next week, we caught up with a native Oklahoman who's one of the best bass anglers in the business. And given the fact that the best way for me to catch a fish is when someone throws it at me, <laughs> I'm just in awe of people who fish for a living. He's got something to show you. Let me hear it. Eat a square. Coming in. Edwin Evers is at the top of his game. He travels thousands of miles every year competing and winning tournaments all over the country. But to compete in the Bassmaster Classic right here in his native state, well, that's pretty sweet. But to win it would be a childhood dream come true. For me to win this tournament would be a dream that I've dreamed ever since I was old enough to read a Bassmaster magazine, literally. Uh, Every fallen star you see as a kid, you dream to win the Bassmaster Classic for me, and it would be a dream come true. Just the biggest, one of the biggest blessings in my life. 
The athletes competing in the Bassmaster Classic are the cream of the crop. Now just to qualify for this tournament, they all had to fish an eight tournament trail season. And if you think the preparation is just an eight hour day, you would be wrong. They spend hours upon hours in the water, out of the water, hours studying aerial maps, checking their equipment and so forth. And then there are the diehard fans who follow Edwin and all these athletes who in turn will be descending upon the beautiful city of Grove and Grand Lake itself. And what a location to hold this prestigious event. Chuck Perry, a commissioner for the Oklahoma Department of Tourism and Recreation, says Grand Lake is almost a hidden jewel. He added everyone is thoroughly excited for next week's tournament and the months of planning and hard work will pay off in a big way. The city of Grove has stepped up along with, uh, with the state to build a first rate bass tournament fishing facility. And I also want to add too that it's a family boating facility also. To put on the Super Bowl of bass tournaments, you have to have parking. This particular lot, once it's finished, will be able to hold close to 400 trucks and trailers. You know, we actually hope that this uh, works out really well for bass and everyone involved and that they'll want to come back. And if that's the case, the economic impact of this thing is going to last long, long past my rocking chair days. And what Mr. Perry says is so true. The tournament will not only bring Grove and Grand Lake into the national spotlight, but Oklahoma in general. The promotion that it's going to give our state, those hours that our state will be on national TV, ESPN2, the, the live streaming to over 10 million households during that period of time. This state is going to get more airtime, and, and, and the name Oklahoma is going to be mentioned more times than, again, our budget could ever afford to be. And that's a win-win for everyone. To find out more about the Bassmaster Classic near Grove, just make a quick trip over to the Discover Oklahoma page at TravelOK.com. Coming up, an award-winning hotel and another lake to love. And I understand you're going to show off some of your angling skills, is that right? Be careful, you may end up with a fish in your eye. <laughs> okay, I got a feeling you won't want to miss this one when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns in just a couple of minutes. We had some family members that had switched to AAA and they kept telling us how much money they were saving and kept telling us that we should look into it. And so we decided that we should go see what, what we could do. We have three kids and there's not a lot of money left at the end of every month. And so any penny that you can save is a big deal. AAA was something I always heard of when I was growing up. And when people talked about it, they talked about it in a reliable way. And so when we switched to AAA, um, it was something that we just trusted from the beginning. It ended up saving us quite a bit. Our car insurance alone saved us probably about $600 a year. Our life insurance, we were actually able to double our coverage and our premium still went down um, close to about half as well. Again, it's not something you ever want to think about as you grow up and become a grown up with a family, but it's definitely something that you need to have. Having insurance is important. Having affordable insurance that you can trust is a blessing. Welcome back to AAA's Discover Oklahoma. I know you don't really consider yourself a fisherman, but, but you enjoy it. I do enjoy it. I just don't get to do it often enough, but I do enjoy the zen-like peacefulness that fishing can bring. It can bring. Can bring. In certain company. <laughs> really don't not mine. Who? As we discovered on a rather infamous trip to Beaver's Bend. The cold water that flows year-round out of Broken Bow Lake made it possible for the state to create an 11-mile-long trout habitat along the lower mountain fork. Love it. It's just amazing three hours from Fort Worth and, you know, we're in God's country. It's obviously very scenic here. Uh, there's a lot of places on mountain fork that you can feel like you're in a Rocky Mountain stream and, uh, and fish for a species that you couldn't have otherwise without this year-round trout fishery that's been developed. So we hired a guide and hit the river to try it for ourselves. So here we, we have your, your scud. Got our scud. Two number four weights. Mm -hmm. Your indicator. Try your indicator. Okay. Do your magic. Oh, what's here? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, you got one right there. Yes. Yeah. Good job. See how easy it is? Actually, to be honest, even with an experienced guide like Ethan Wright, it went more like this. I'm going to do it. All right, like this. Hold just tight until you stop your rod tip. Right, You've got right to here. coordinate between the two hands. That's Go ahead not and a good thing. Okay, now look, now look. What we want to do is, we want, we want to do. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. Lady. You're doing fine. Fly fishing is no push button Zebco kind of experience. It takes coordination and concentration, which are not really my strengths. 
too complicated. I can't even catch crappie. So, you know, what are the chances? I didn't manage to catch a leaf. I gotta throw that one back. It's over the limit. A stick? Okay. Oh, stick. Oh. 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 Okay, well, what? stick. stick. Okay, it's hot action here, non-stop action. Fish, a st I mean a stick, a leaf. Well, right now we'll take what we can get right now, huh? <laughs> Another stick. Okay, how are we catching sticks? <laughs> oh my goodness, come on now. Two sticks and a leaf, baby, we're all over. Oh, right. And Ethan's sandal. But it did get better, eventually. Yeah, right. I caught a real live fish. Oh, in the rock. <laughs> That's what Jennifer caught. You know, That's anyone what you can get with the right guy service right here. Anyone okay. can get a trout. It's yeah, hard this to is, spear a minnow right Yeah, this is a little sucker fish. <laughs> sit. And I tell you, is your arm okay? It was tough. I think I wrenched my back bringing it in. But. <laughs> Finally, after trying a few different spots, I had my first encounter with an actual trout. We're going to advertise rainbow here, the, the fishery stock. Wow. I, okay. <laughs> totally by accident. Blind luck is better. That's how I scratch my eight ball. <laughs> we'll count that one, won't we? It's enough to make me think I can ignore Ethan's advice to fish upstream instead of down. I like this little place here because well, you know yeah, why? Well, yeah, but we need to be down below it to fish it, but you have a lot of fish right there in front of you. I do. Yeah, see, so you're, you're not You know what I like about... Here. Oh! <laughs> yeah. oh I like goodness. this area right here, Ethan. You, you know what, Jennifer, you found it. Actually, I am hiring. I need extra help. <laughs> Okay. Fly fishing on the Mountain Fork, a lovely way to enjoy the Oklahoma outdoors. All right, stay where you are because up next. We're going to discover the deeper side of Lake Eufaula. We'll peek inside some lovely lodging where elegance recently earned top props when AAA's Discover Oklahoma returns. In early April of this year, we had one of the most violent hailstorms I've ever seen in my life. And my wife called me and you could hear the noise over the telephone. By the time I got home, got out here from town, there was hail everywhere. Baseball, size hail, golf ball everywhere. Uh, my truck was beat to pieces. It was it was a pretty violent hailstorm. I called my AAA agent, Gary Wise, a friend of mine, asked him what the procedure was, give me the phone numbers, we need to turn this in. We hope to always be there whenever they need us, and that that is the most important client that we have, is the one that we're talking to at the time. I feel AAA has treated me with the utmost respect. I feel like they were went above and beyond to be respectful of our, our time and our property. AAA definitely is there for the right reason. The president of the insurance company call and ask, you know, what could, what could they do to help Woodward and help our clients in their time of need. Welcome back. AAA Oklahoma makes this show possible, and we appreciate that sponsorship and all the great things that AAA does around our state. They do, including their diamond rating system that highlights hotels and restaurants that really do a bang-up job for all their customers. In fact, AAA just announced the five hotels and two restaurants that earned that coveted four diamond ranking. And we wanted to spread the word about those above and beyond destinations, and here's a glimpse at one of them. Well, winning the AAA Diamond Award is, is kind of like the Oscars for the hotel business. It's the pinnacle of our business. So when you win the award, it basically is confirmation to the rest of the world saying, hey, we're doing it right. And the folks at the Renaissance Hotel in Oklahoma City are doing things very well, thank you. They've won the prestigious AAA Four Diamond Award 11 times, and it's easy to see why. Located near Bricktown, they have a free limousine service for their guests that takes in a four mile radius. The hotel has a tremendous amount of amenities. There's a full service spa, fitness center, and pool, of course. The 10 North Grill serves three meals a day. There are over 311 rooms, some of which are suites, but all are equipped with the comforts and extra amenities such as flat screen TVs and high powered Wi-Fi, and they will all make your stay extremely comfortable. We want them to feel like they had a great experience. Uh, we, we make sure we smile, we make sure that everything during their stay went really well. And that first rate experience starts from the moment you arrive. The hotel's lobby is casual yet elegant and stylish. 
You need to make a video presentation? Well, the hotel has capabilities for that. And don't forget, the staff here also manages the Cox Business Center. And whether you are here on business or pleasure, the staff will make sure your stay is fun and relaxing. Well, being a Marriott branded hotel, uh, Marriott has some very high standards. So because of that, uh, you compound that on top of the Renaissance standards, and it really makes this an experience that a guest wants to, to uh, be a part of. Um, it's very high level of service. Uh, the standards are far and above some of the other brands. And as a traveler, you want that. Congratulations to the Renaissance of Oklahoma City on being awarded the AAA Four Diamond Award. AAA for the ones who matter most to you. Throughout the coming weeks, we'll be featuring more of the recipients of the AAA Diamond Award. And we've been looking at places that you can kind of have some winter adventures, and I'm thinking the Renaissance looks like a pretty good place to camp out. Absolutely. <laughs> I wish I could camp out there. It's a nice place to hang, if you will. And speaking of which, our Shell Wagner has a favorite location that she's been hanging with her family since she was a little girl. And if you know Shell, you've probably heard her gush about her love for Lake Eufaula. No one can remember exactly how the whole thing started, but sometime in the early 1970s, the waters of Lake Eufaula grabbed hold of my family and even now aren't showing signs of letting go. We spent an untallied portion of our adolescence swimming in, skiing on, and exploring beside Lake Eufaula. We knew every moss-covered boulder and scrub oak on our sliver of paradise near Purim Landing. We grew to know the moods of the lake in every season. And this time of year might just be my favorite, when the layers of summer's vegetation peel away and the spray from speedboats fades into gentle ripples. A wealth of unexpected winter beauty reveals itself, along with a healthy mix of history and legend. Now, a generation later, our girls skip rocks along the same shale-covered shoreline as my brothers and me. I can see it! And where we learned to cast a line, so do they. They've discovered but a tiny portion of the 600 miles of shoreline with terrain that shifts from sandy beaches to towering bluffs to scrubby woods. Eufaula, Oklahoma's largest lake, is fed by three major tributaries, the Deep Fork, the North Canadian, and the beefy Canadian River, which was dammed to control that river's flow into the Arkansas, with the goal of making the Arkansas River navigable. Lyndon B. Johnson dedicated Eufaula Dam in 1964. Most of the resulting lake lies within the boundaries of the Old Creek Nation, and part of the fascination, as you look out at the deep and sometimes murky waters, is in imagining what came before. For many, the building of the lake meant relocating, as the impending waters threatened to swallow their farms and homes. Hints of the home that was swallowed up near my family's lake property has been delivering clues, firing our imaginations for decades, as pieces of the past continue to wash ashore. Just when we think we're down to the last fragment of pottery, rusted farm implement, or shard of glass, the lake will spit out a miraculously unbroken antique jar or bottle. Or on this recent treasure hunt, a milk glass canning lid, and part of a lace-up leather boot like the ones Belle Star wore. She's just one of the outlaws who hid out in these rusty hills. What we might have tossed aside as litter in any other setting, at the lake becomes fodder for storytelling and wonder. One of the most famous landmarks of the area has vanished beneath the waters of Lake Eufaula, Standing Rock, which stood 63 feet above the waters of the Canadian River and was noted as a fishing spot by early day settlers. It was first recorded on papers of Spanish explorers and Spanish symbols carved on the rock were thought to be directions to buried treasure. Buried treasure, legendary outlaws, and an underwater world that reveals itself in increments Add to that some of the best boating and bass and crappie fishing around, and it's no wonder that Oklahoma's gentle giant continues to cast her spell over countless visitors each and every year, and will always hold a special brand of magic for me. At Lake Eufaula, I'm Shell Wagner. That's our show for this week. A big thanks to the folks here at the Catfish Roundup in Seminole for hosting us. And you need to come here for the great catfish, the apple fritters, the fried okra, and to see this picture of Jennifer and the owner, Larry, <laughs> taken <laughs> about 20 years oh ago. You haven't aged a bit. Oh, those are some sweet mall bangs I have going on. You'll have to come just for the mall bangs and the food, of course. That's right. Next week, we're at Disco over Oklahoma with people and places that inspire general grooviness. From a mod eatery in Tulsa to year-round flower power, and a folk singer whose voice can both lift you up and take you back. Hope you'll join us. 
So until next time, remember, there's always something to discover in Oklahoma. I'm going to have one of these. Now I can. <laughs> Production vehicle provided by the Oklahoma Ford Dealers, official partner of the Oklahoma Tourism and Recreation Department.